Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7 and today we're going to talk about starting a fire in a wood furnace properly to heat your home. We have lived here four years now. This is our fourth winter and we've been using the wood furnace every year and a wood fireplace upstairs. We don't use the wood fireplace as much but the wood furnace we use daily through the winter months. And I'll tell you before we moved here I never had a fireplace or I had to start fires to heat a home so I had no experience at all and over the last four winters I have gained a lot of experience and I've learned a few tricks about lighting this wood furnace and I'm going to show you today. The way I light this wood furnace is I use a few pieces of newspaper, I use some kindling and my firewood. Okay over the last four years it's been trial and error and I finally figured out a way to light this furnace perfectly so that when I light it it doesn't take long, the heat builds up quickly and I get up the temperature quick. And we've all noticed it in the house, the house heats up really quick when I do it like this and it burns better throughout the day. So what I have is four pieces of newspaper and a handful of kiln. I may not even use it all. So we'll open the door. We'll open the damper. Now one more thing is I had the fire running late last night so I'm just going to stir around the ashes and the coals in here and maybe there is some flamey coals in here. Uh, there's not much, there, there is a bit, that's okay, it doesn't matter. So the first thing I do is I put my newspaper in. Then I'll, then I'll start placing my kindling in. Now I lay the kindling in, th in a row of three like this, and then I lay the next layer like this on top of the other row. This allows air to get around the kindling, get around the wood. Getting air around your firewood is important. You need that oxygen. If you just throw everything in there, just throw it all in there, you may smother it. It may not even have a chance to ignite and really run well. There's no oxygen getting to your, your fire. You need air to the fire. So now we're going to add our firewood. So I'm going to start off with some smaller pieces just so it lights better, faster. Then we're going to go a bit bigger. Now I placed the wood in there just like I did the kindling. Only this time I put two rows on the bottom like this and then two rows on the top like that with gaps in between. Not huge gaps, just enough so the air can travel through the wood. Now we're going to add some larger pieces. This is a big wood furnace so I have room. And I lay them on top just like I did the other. I stack them in layers. So now I have six pieces of wood in there stacked like this and then another one like this. Lots of room for air to flow through but not too much room. So I'm going to throw one more in just for good measure. So I'll bring you in and show you a little closer exactly what I mean. Hopefully you can see what I'm saying about the stacking. See the two on the bottom, two on the top, two on the top again, the next level, and then I put one more on top. Lots of room, lots of air. One more thing before we get started. I have a thermometer here on the stovepipe that goes towards the big chimney that goes outside. When I light this fire and it gets going, we'll be up near 400 and that's going to really heat up quick heat the house up quick and it'll slowly gradually come down. It'll take about a half an hour to get to about 250 but I'll come back before then and probably add some more firewood. Okay so now we're going to light it. Our damper is open. We have the uh, right amount of oxygen coming in through here through this dial here. This is electric. It's broke. Apparently they don't last forever. I just work it manually. You set it to wherever you want. You may have not such dry wood. It may be a moist, mild day outside, <clears throat> which, eliminate, which doesn't help for drawing air out through the chimney. So you have to adjust it to your conditions in your wood. Okay, now the fire is lit and we'll just wait for it to take off. Okay, as of lighting this, it is 10 10 a.m. in the morning, and I'll show you how fast it heats up and I'll show you that thermometer up on the stovepipe 
so that you can see that it, gets, it reaches close to 400 in a short amount of time. Now I'm going to close this door because it has lots of air. And we'll close the damper off a little bit, not all the way yet. And we're not going to close the door all the way yet. We'll let the air feed to that fire. Okay, here we are at 10.09. So we're, what, nine minutes later. As you can see, we got a screaming fire in there. It's roaring really nice. I've closed the damper up a little more to contain the heat. And uh, I'll close this door really good now. And we're going to go look at the thermometer. So the thermometer is reading 350 in nine minutes, and it's climbing. It's going to be hitting 400 in any minute now. And to touch the plenum, it's really hot. That's how it looked. It took nine minutes to reach almost 400 and heat this house up. Like, it's throwing heat. So there you go, nine minutes to get this fire from just starting a spark to 400 degrees in little time, just nine minutes. And it's all about stacking the wood like this, you know what I mean? Letting air get around that wood, but not too much room. Just enough room to let the air flow and stack it high and, and safe and level. You don't want it falling over on you either. Now, if you want to learn more about wood furnaces, I did a video one year ago. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below, and I'll leave it at the end of this video. There'll be a card where you can go watch that video as well. And I hope this video helps you with starting a fire in a wood furnace properly. Thanks for watching, and stay warm, and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.